So just in staying with the theme of trauma, this is an example of a skull fracture. So we're looking at, at bone windows. We see that the nice linear structure is, or, you know, is, is interfered with here in this area and it's depressed. So this was a, a young boy about five years old who was skateboarding without a helmet, fell and struck his head. Luckily there's no injury um, below this area. You should always look to see if there's any blood products in this area or actually across the brain. We call this a counter coup injury. The brain basically sits in a sac, the dura, and it's filled with fluid. The brain can shift during a trauma such that it, you know, it would strike the contralateral side. Looks like in this child though, um, there was no additional injury to the brain. So he was taken to surgery due to this fracture being open and depressed. Um, this was an impacted piece of bone that we removed. And I believe for him, we simply placed a, a mesh over the defect. Here, it's a little more pronounced, the fracture. We call this one a ping pong fracture, as if you took a ping pong ball and, and basically crushed part of it. So again, we look, don't see any evidence of any uh, brain injuries, epidural, subdural bleeding. However, um, for the family, this was a cosmetic issue. And to fix this, we uh, took the child to the OR. I started out by making a small burr hole just adjacent to the depressed bone. I then placed a curved instrument of Penfield 3 to try to elevate this. Just if you have a, you know, an accident with your car where there's a dent, you try to basically bang the dent out. However, this was, was quite fused. So we ended up turning a, a bone flap around it, meaning we, we removed the bone circumferential to this depression. And then we could use some instruments to, to more easily bend the bone and then replate it using absorbable plates and screws. So we were able to, uh, to fix that. Here's a much more significant example you could see that um, this is a you know, pretty severe depressed skull fracture. You see the hematoma and the soft tissue above the skull. And when you look below, you see evidence of contusion or injury to the brain itself. So as we talked about, blood is usually bright on CAT scans, on CAT scan, as is the bone here. So this would require operative intervention. Here's an example again of, of a bifrontal contusion. And we look counter coup area, we don't really see any injury that, that's, um, manifested yet in the, in the posterior part of the brain. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.